Hello YouTube and welcome to another Kubernetes tutorial. So in this video I'll show you how you can run multiple Manicube clusters but also multi node Manicube cluster. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous video I showed you how to set up Manicube and also how to deploy simple uh, Nginx application using Manicube. But there are some cases when you need actually to configure Manicube in advanced options. For example, you can run multiple Manicube clusters in a single machine. So let's say that you have actually just one uh, workstation and you want to run multiple clusters. So first things first, let's uh, fire up our PowerShell in admin privileges. Here we go. So this is our uh, PowerShell. So in order to run actually multiple clusters, we use what we call profiles. So in order to start actually Manicube, we use just to type Manicube start and we provide actually the driver name. So by default you can use the Docker driver or uh, Hyper-V driver, but me I'm using VirtualBox because I found it more convenient. VirtualBox. So when you execute this command, actually it will create a default profile called Manicube. But let's say that we want to create more clusters using Manicube. So just to specify another option, minus P for profile, and here you provide actually a profile name. So for example, let's create a profile called test. Here we go. So with this command, you actually start a profile called test, which is another cluster in Manicube. So here you can see it's creating a virtual VM with the specification of two CPUs and 2200 megabytes, okay? Okay, so as you see now, we have created our first cluster with the profile called test, okay? We can also create another one if you want with the same actually command, but let's name it something different in order to have multiple uh, clusters. So let's call this profile, for example, Dave for development and launch it. So we will go with the same process in order to create this profile or this new cluster called dev. Here we go, we are finished now. So let's verify that we have actually uh, two clusters with different profile names. So we can use the command manicube profile list in order to list all the profiles that we have. So as you can see here, we have three profiles. We have the two that we have created called dev and test and the default one Manicube that was created using my last video. So the state for that, that Manicube uh, cluster is stopped. But we have indeed the two that we have created called test and dev. Okay. And of course, each one has only one node, which is the control plan and master node. Okay. So now, how we can check in what, in which uh, profile we are, or in which cluster we are? So simple as type in Manicube profile. Okay. 
so the output will show us in which profile we are so by default we are in the default profile which is called minikube but we can switch to whatever profile we want using the same command but we add the profile name at the end so for example if you want to switch to the dev profile or cluster we use minikube profile dev so you can see that minikube profile was successfully set to dev we can test that using the command manicube status here we go so it will output the name of the cluster which is in this case Dave the type the host the goblet API server and cube config okay so you can switch using this command manicube profile okay so let's me clear that and execute once again the manicure profile list so we have our uh, two running uh, clusters and the default one which is stop it okay and if you want to get rid of any cluster it can be easily done using manicube uh, delete command minus p for a profile and you specify the profile name so let's say that you want to get rid of the test you can just type test here but before we delete this uh, profile test let me show you all these clusters in our virtual box so if you open your virtual box you can see that actually we have created three virtual machine inside our virtual box okay so you can see the one that are running that we have just actually created the dev and the test and the old one from my previous video which is called many cube which is top it so it's power off okay so now let's say that we want to delete this test cluster or profile we can use this command here many cube delete minus p test here we go let's execute it so it's deleting test in virtual box okay so let's go back to our virtual box and indeed the test virtual machine vm has been deleted okay so as you see here in this table each cluster has only one node but how can we create actually a cluster with multiple nodes so we can also do that very easily using manicube so let's say that for example we want to start a new uh, cluster let's call it prod for production okay or just prod so if you want to specify or to add many nodes because by default it will just create one node you can simply add here dash dash nodes and the number of nodes that you want so for example let's start this cluster but we specify that we want three nodes okay so you just type here three and let's run this command and see what we gonna get okay So it will take some time depending of course on the machine that you have because here it will create actually three VMs inside your virtual box okay so let's see that in action actually so here you can see it's starting the worker node which called prod-m02 in cluster prod okay and now it's starting our second worker node called prod-m03 and of course in the same cluster okay actually here I got the problem starting uh, the second or the third 
not because of resources but let me just to check the status of this mini cube here okay let's see now the status of our mini cube So even the third node has not been created due to resources, but we still get it here. So here you can see different uh, three sections. So each section is related to a node. So with the previous command, we actually can create multiple nodes in a single Minikube cluster. Okay. So that was just a brief introduction how you can actually use Minikube in different situations in different configuration. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.